Hi, this is Jelana Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about how to get rid of spiders organically. Well, this is just a toy spider, but if it was a real spider, I'd be really scared about this time. But a lot of people keep spiders as pets, and they make great pets. But if you have spiders that you want to get rid of, there's a lot of tricks that I can tell you how to get rid of them organically. Well, first of all, to get rid of spiders, you get to get rid of any of their feeding areas. The reason you have spiders is that you have other types of bugs. They love bugs. So the first thing you can do is get rid of the night light or put the night light out somewhere where it's not near the house or somewhere where the spiders are going to congregate that's not going to bother you. Because if you notice, wherever you have a night light, you'll have lots of bugs. Wherever you have bugs, you're going to have spiders. If you've got a lot of dense areas or small branches under trees, spiders love to hang out right there. So if you remove a lot of the branches towards the bottom of the trees, you're going to remove a lot of areas where the spiders are hanging out. And in your garden, if you're leaving a lot of plants to wither and die naturally, then there's going to be a lot of spiders in there. So to get rid of them, either cover up everything with mulch and make sure there's nothing that they can put their webs up onto, and you'll find that you won't have as many spiders. But generally, spiders in the garden are a good thing. They're eating a lot of the bugs that you don't want in your garden, so you don't want to get rid of them. But if you have them in your house, then you need to get rid of them by making sure there's no access. So they're getting through to the house through a hole or a screen or somewhere where there's access. So make sure your screens don't have any holes in them. Make sure that there's no um, area like the dryer vent that they're coming through. Put a big thick screen over that and you'll find that if you restrict the access to your house you won't have near the spiders in the house. And also they love to hide under any type of boxes. So especially paper or cardboard. So if you can put everything into plastic bins or into wood bins or away off the floor or away from your areas where you're at, then the spiders will have nowhere to hang out. Make sure there's no breadcrumbs or food crumbs or any type of food where they're going to go for the food as well in your house. And you'll find you won't have as many spiders. There's a lot of things that you can use in your house to kill the spiders. For example, just basic oil works really well. If you just mix it with water, maybe half and half, and put it in a spray bottle and spray down the spiders, then the oil will get all over their body and they'll suffocate. So it's an easy way to get rid of them. You can also use peppermint or spearmint or eucalyptus oil. They don't like any of the heavy spices. I know if there's an area where they're coming around, just boil, uh, spread a bunch of cinnamon or black pepper or curry powder or red hot chili pepper or cayenne pepper, anything that's really spicy. A lot of times that will get the spiders to go away as well. And again, eucalyptus or any type of oil or any type of strong spice, especially spearmint or even vinegar. I have a friend that swears by just spraying vinegar on everything. And even if you've got large spiders, rubbing alcohol works really well. So just spray them with rubbing alcohol and it'll kill them immediately. But they'll always come back if there's a food source or their way to get in the house. So the trick with getting rid of spiders organically is stopping them from coming in in the first place and making it a place where you don't want them to hang out. And that way you can enjoy your home and your area, this outside area, without spiders. 